here's where I tell you all about that balance that I talk about. You either know me or you can feel me at some level. You can decide what your connection is to mine or you can choose to say goodbye. We have to understand time is not always on our side. I spent way too much of my time always people pleasing the ones who only used what they needed to get by. I let them take it and then learn to fall. Falling after so long, you start to become a little numb, a little sidetracked, a little, well, let's say fuck all that. Some of us forget that there is a balance in the world, a balance between two opposites, how people perceive the world, a world of make-believe and a world of reality. Now, the takers rarely see how much the givers actually give. And of course, the same for the givers. We give so much we forget to live, live for ourselves. It's in that realization that we have to decide how much to give and the takers have to be struck by a blow. To make them see, they have to start giving back to receive. Do you get me? I can honestly say I've been both. I was a taker in my youth gone wild days, but I also gave a lot away. Then as I grew up and started to become the person I was, always running away from, I gave and I gave until I withdrew everything I had and I cracked like broken bits of glass. My self-absorbed sponge took too much in. It still does some days. I needed to decide then and there what I allowed myself to give and also balance the lines of what I took when people offered something to me. Everything in this world is about balance. Balance is a word that sometimes I forget. I forget to balance my steps, balance my strengths and my weaknesses. It's like how the heart and mind are two different versions of the truth. Is any of this making sense to you? I can ramble on for days about the scales and fates. I can look for the smallest details and try to make connection of how, why, and when. See, I have to understand the forces that can't be seen, only felt guiding me by faith of the unknown. Sounds absurd, right? Maybe to most it is. It is in my engineering of my mind. Now my heart has a different design. It wants to believe everything I feed it. It needs the soar above the skies. It needs the tearful goodbyes. See, man, your heart will give and give, but your mind can take and rape away everything you thought you knew to be true. It's a balance. Ah, now do you see? But not everyone is like me. Not everyone is like you. This is why the balance is always tipping to one side. Your side may be heavy at times, and when this happens, you need to readjust your life and balance out the scales of everything you keep taking and giving in so you don't continue to fall. The contusions of impact over time shall seriously make your life hard, and within all those falls, you could lose everything you ever believed and knew to be true. You have to take care of you. Do you understand now? It's never an easy task to do, to take care of our own needs and not let the others keep taking and us always giving in. You got to step back and remember to breathe and choose to live your life with your scales aligned. It's up to you. You may hurt some. You may lose some. It's in the weeding through that we get to see who's in it for themselves or who is really there to help you. A cleansing of truths, harder to do than to say, but mind what I say. Our hearts and our minds are constantly on overdrive. We truly need no more than what we already fight within ourselves every day. This is it. This is it for me today. Talking about balance makes me want to lessen my load. Been giving away too much energy, feeling tipped to one side, whereas on this heart and mind. So as I say... I need to realign and talk to the fates. Blessed be.